All right, hello everybody. Travis Chandler here with the next, with episode two of Mass Effect with the Engineer. All right, let's get down to it. I was just checking to make sure I had everything saved, which I do. Oh, I know what I did. I got rid of that old Vanguard character. That's what I did. All right. Cool. All so, oh, let's get down to it. We just we got done last episode at Eden Prime. We were looking for the beacon, and it ended up getting destroyed. And Nihilus ended up dead. Check the locker here. Nothing really any good, so... Hey, Commander. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was That's what happens when you go in alone. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. So now we're going upstairs, we're going to talk to Joker. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Here we go. You know, I do believe something like this does exist in the universe. You know, I, I really do. Because I know there's more races out there than just ours. Size of that ship. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy? Said no woman ever. Firepower too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. Okay. This is an outrage. The council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony. Yeah, they probably would. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of a council ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Bitch. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you had any questions. 
I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. It is the truth. To every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Yeah, you and me both, Ashley. You and me both. I hate politicians too. So over here, you get a free uh, mission. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong, and it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Good luck with your problem. Thanks to you, human. Good day. Okay, now we run over here to the um, executor's office. We get another free mission over here. would never reveal her secrets. Of course she wouldn't. She'd be tossed at the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> she's... she's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. <laughs> Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk. I didn't say that. Ha! <laughs> I bet you did too. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari Consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... Things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? <laughs> we embarrassed him. I never did. I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. That's fine, Private. Just tell me where to find her. Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. Okay, now we're going to see the consort. Rearranged five times now. Five times? Why? What do they want? How should I know? It's not like keepers offer an explanation for what they do. Yet, everyone just lets them go on doing whatever it is they do. What choice do we have? If you try to stop them, they just shut down and another one replaces them. Just strange that we know so little about them. Not to mention frustrating.
Welcome, I am Nelina. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. You know, I wonder, do Asari get face tattoos? Just for the hell of it? I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. Damn, shake that ass, shake that ass. <laughs> It appears the consort is taking. I wonder if she has a burger to go with that shake. With you now. <laughs> Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. I don't know why, but for some reason this game likes to swap weapons on you. I don't know why. So, okay, we're gonna see if she has a burger to go with that shake. Let's find out. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Tell me about this problem you're having. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. What okay. What do you want me to tell him? Appeal to a sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. <laughs> If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. She grabbed him. <laughs> she grabbed his cup. you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. She grabbed his cup. <laughs> Look at that bug thing over there. What's it doing? Please do not disturb the keepers. The council isn't going to ask me any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. Yeah, that's true. You don't have to trust him. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakarian. Dude, I so want the eyepiece that Garrus has. Come across anything I should know about? <laughs> Saren's a spectre. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. I so want the eyepiece that Garrus has. I remember back in the 360 days when they introduced the avatars. Um, when Mass Effect came out and was huge on the 360, um, for your avatar, you could buy... Um, stuff from Mass Effect. Well, um, one thing I bought was Garrus' eyepiece. Allowing the humans to join us is a sound strategic move. But the Volus? No. The Hanar are likely to be next, then the Elcor. You may be right. Though the Hanar need to lighten up a bit first. 
You just don't like them because you have trouble understanding them. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. Gee, that's bullshit. It's an eyewitness. Nihilus was a fellow specter and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. Yeah. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment Unfortunately, Saren has a point. Not you know? Imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. Exactly. Inspector, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. Typical. Caught drinking on the job. I don't Thinking think he's above the law. Our past history was Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. He is a drunken loser. Don't talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Here we go! Is up to something. What guy? The one over by the Keeper. What? Oh, no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Yeah. Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? 
I've got no interest in a kid. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. <coughs> I'm using a small well, scanner to get... that felt better. <laughs> I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. There's no technically about it. it disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly. Well, I mean, he has a point. I could Scanning the keepers authorities. I don't even know would not be disturbing them. Shepherd with the Alliance military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Sweet. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. There's one. I should probably make a video on um, where all the keepers are. I probably won't commentate it. I'll just probably piece it together and show. I'll like slice it and piece it together, showing where all the keepers are. Because <clears throat> that that would probably help everyone. I think. I just want to ask a couple of questions. Pretty much, I mean, here's something very interesting about the Keepers. Um, they were the first race on the Citadel. I'm hearing it everywhere. It's not just isolated rumors. Do you really think Saren could be involved in something like that without the Council knowing? Maybe the Council does know. Everyone already assumes he's just doing their dirty work. That's dangerous talk. I'd be careful who you mention that. Well, the Salarian Diplomat has a point. No, and I'll thank you to keep me out of it if you do. Okay, we're going to head out, get more keepers, and... Um, I don't know why I didn't cut this out. I didn't cut it out. Um, I probably should have, but that's okay. I will tell you, I had a blast with this character. I really did. And you'll see why later on in the series. Yeah, that's how law enforcement works. So now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his Geth troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. Yeah, that's exactly how it works. If the government wrongs you, you can't do shit about it. Okay, Jaleed. Let me get this straight. Your business partner, Shorbin, he's threatened you? Well, no, uh, not I... exactly. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? I... I can't really get into the details. But Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I... I can't. I'm sorry. Then I've got other work to do. But I... But nothing. Don't bother me unless you're willing to give me details. Yeah, damn it. Hey there. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Nope. Did you want something? Yeah, who the hell are you? I am Jaleed. I came here to seek aid from the authorities, but they won't listen to me. My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. 
Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorban. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorban? That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. Fucking bastard. If I find out he's lied to me. Anything's possible with Shorban these days. Well, good luck. All right, we're down here in the wards. We get to look at the scenic view. Big place. Is that your professional opinion, sir? This isn't a station. It's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? The Council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. Why not? We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. Yeah. <laughs> if you expect to get me in a tinfoil miniskirt and thigh-high boots, I want dinner first. Sir. That would be you. Excuse me. That would be inappropriate fraternization, Chief. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Ready to move out, sir. Okay. So now we're gonna go to right next to the med clinic to get the keeper. The positive of running around and getting all the keepers is you open up all the rapid tram transport points or rapid transit points. So you always want to get the keepers. Not only do you get money for doing it, but yeah, um. But you open up all the, um, rapid transits. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh, you can see her bra! I you can see her bra! Corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Hey, you know why she's wearing that? Because sex sells, man. It does. That's why she's wearing that getup as an investigator. Giving the people she's talking to a free show. You should be careful when you say that around. What? Everyone knows Fist isn't like the local criminals. up on his hit list. Yes, I heard he actually buried some corpses under the stage at Cora's den. I wouldn't put it past him. Yes, and I might explain the stench in that place. It's out of my hand, Rita. I'd bring her back in a second, but she doesn't want to come. I know, I know. I'll see if I can talk some sense into her next time. Doran wants to bring her back, but she doesn't want to come. <laughs> Think about that statement for a second. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Thanks, 
sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left too. Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. Being an informant is a dangerous job. That's what I've been telling her. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it for Jenna's safety. Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Now we go up here. We find a suspicious gambling machine and a keeper. I think somebody rigged this machine to funnel credits through the system. Let me trace the system. Do you really think we'll find him down here? He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fist is gonna be pissed if we take down his supplier. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. There's just something about Fist that makes me nervous. Good. He's a dangerous man. Now keep your eyes peeled for our mark. Looks like whoever it was bounced the signal off a hidden relay. I'll trace the new signal. Okay, and then we come here to the Navarre Levon's office. As best I can tell, the receiver for the new signal is somewhere on the Presidio. Which isn't far from here, actually. This must be the signal's endpoint. Let's see if we can find out where those stolen credits are being funneled. Probability of detection 100%. Initiating self-destruct protocol. What the hell is that? Detonation sequence initializing. All organics within lethal blast radius. Attempt to move and you will die. Crap. I thought we were tracing credits, not hunting an AI. You could simply walk away. However, given organic prejudice against AIs, I would be naive to trust you to leave peacefully. Hence, the right. alignment of core systems to enable a self-destruct sequence. If you attempt to leave the area, the explosion will destroy everything within several dozen meters. There's no way you could get explosives onto the Presidium. Not raw explosives, no. But I did obtain technical systems that, when overstressed, will explode quite effectively. If you attempt to leave or attack me, I assure you that the explosion will kill you. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. Here we go! Ah, second try, look at that. Second try, look at that. Okay, so really what I was doing with this character, I was concentrating on the powers. I was trying to decide, do I want to unlock basic armor, which I end up doing? Because that gives you more uh, damage protection. With Caden, I don't worry about his um, electronics. I worry more about his biotics because um, I'm an engineer. And assault training for your fighters like Ashley gives her more damage. She does more damage with it. I don't think you bought this here. I don't sell this mod. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really? That's impressive. Usually, you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place! 
Now, are you gonna give me a refund or not? Do you have your proof of purchase? What? No, no, I, I, I don't think you ever gave me one. I'm sorry, I can't. But, what would you... Can't help you. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. And so really all I'm after is just the license. Is that really? Wow, it's you. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. <laughs> Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. I spend most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. All right. His wife. His wife. <laughs> Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yeah? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Again, I'm just looking for the licenses. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? Drop the act. I want to know what's going on, Shorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... Quit stalling. Jaleed told us what you've been up to. You... Spoke with Jaleed? Yeah, I have. About the data? Just tell me everything you know. You boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little over our heads. Keep talking. The company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Jaleed and I saw even more potential. So we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the Keepers. Can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the Keepers? That's what all this fuss is about? The Keepers are almost impossible to scan. And you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them, ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. I should kill both of you idiots. Yeah, maybe you should. <laughs> let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you'll just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. And you'll stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? If it'll help further the scientific cause, how can I refuse? Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. If I have time, I'll talk to him. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Okay. So now we're coming to Kor's Den. That's him. Got a headshot on that. Area secured. What sabotage does? It um overheats your enemy's um weapons. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. 
I need to talk to you about your work with CSEC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. Charming girl. Commander! What do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me! Me! Septima Soraka, General of the Turian Fleet! I think I can see why you're upset, but spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No. Those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. Do you really want to be remembered this way? No, I'd rather not be remembered at all. But I see your point. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to, and where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. That's because you don't understand, Rick. Back off, Rex. Fist told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fist's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no clue with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Right? Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Bastard still trying to bring Saren down, and I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Just tell me where Garrus is before this gets ugly. But it's all related, don't you see? The captain used to be a Spectre. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Right? Why should I believe a drunk like you? Fine, ask Anderson. I bet he tells you. He's too stupid and proud to lie right to your face. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink it. Talking to 
me. Push it off. I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. What was that about? I guess we'd better go find out. Yeah, you might want to go find out. Okay, so here we are at the med clinic. We're gonna find Garrus. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Oh! Gave him a third eye. Boom! Boom! You actually want to use sabotage on the um, explosive barrels and stuff because not only do they do the explosive damages do damage, but the uh, um. Sabotage will overheat their weapons too, so it's a, um, so it's kind of a double whammy. That's what I was trying to think of. But what do I try to decide here? Do I want decryption, electronics? What do I want? I'm thinking decryption, but I'm not sure. Okay. All targets down. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. I know those men threatened you, but if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Then what? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. The Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. A Krogan might come in handy. Yeah, he would. I heard he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the academy before he leaves. Move out. Okay. Now we set up Garrus. Of course, first thing you do, get your class max out. There you go. And then we'll do that. I used to not worry about ta about the armor skills, but I actually do that nowadays because, like I said, you get more damage protection. Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Many council wars. But here we go to the. Um, CSEC Academy. 
victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Here we go. Now we set up Rex, of course, like I said. Get your class maxed out. Then I decide, do I want warp or barrier? I think I go after barrier. Nope, I go like that. That's what I do. Now we come back up here and we talk to Jaleed. Hello again. <laughs> did you have Yeah, I did find him. I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? What about the Keeper data? Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But... well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Detective Chalik, come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Watch your tone, Chalik. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were there to help her. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. But you're still using her. This job isn't easy and it's usually unpleasant. I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. You C-Sec grunts are always trying to play the angles. It's part of the job. Now are you gonna help me or not? I'll help you. But I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Okay, now we're coming down to the markets to talk to Mr. Jax, not Jax Teller. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Do you have the X mods? Show them the merchandise. That looks about right. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. I'm taking you in, Jax. To sting! Bastard, set us up! <laughs> the hell are you playing at? Here's your money, Jax. <laughs> Sense of humor, huh? 
It's gonna get you killed one of these days, Army. Come on, boys. We're done here. <laughs> I don't know why that kills me every time, but it does. <laughs> now we come back to Chalik and turn that in. Here you have something for me. Oh, Lord. Here's your shipment, Chalik. Excellent. This is everything I need. Hmm. Huh. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. You earn some payment for your work. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. Okay, back here to Kor's den. This no Look out! Warp him. Take out the bartender. I need to quit using overload and sabotage on just one enemy. Warp I should have used on the Krogan. There we go. That's how you use sabotage. There's two enemies there, they both got affected by it. See what your overload and sabotage and all your tech abilities do? They are actually uh, mines. And I don't know why I put my gun away, but I did. Take that free headshot. Again, I fucked up with the um, grenade. I was trying to land it onto the uh, fire extinguisher. Stop right there! Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot. I just killed fifty bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh, well, uh, uh screw fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. <laughs> It would have been quicker to just kill them. It would have. People isn't always the answer. It totally would have. I surrender. Tell me where the quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. <laughs> I don't know where she is. Shepard threatened to cap him. <laughs> That's called capping somebody, shooting somebody in the kneecaps. I know where you can find her. The quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the shadow broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. The gun, Krogan. The Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. A lot of people died because of him. He had it coming. Now let's move. We have to save that Quarian. Exactly. A lot of people did die because of him. So he did have it coming to him. Don't forget the OSD there. Um, we max out charm. No, we don't max out charm for the moment. We go for decryption to get advanced sabotage. All right. And I forgot the other two. Um, I do pistols so I can unlock shotguns for Ashley later. And do I do assault rifles? I do. For Rex so we can unlock shotguns.
Okay, here we go. We get more people to kill. Bean's fist is dead. I wonder if they're either his people or Saren's people. No, don't use overload. There you go. There you go. They have no shield. There you go. We shoot him through the table. Because dumbass didn't flip the table over for cover. This one's the only smart guy. He, hid, he hid behind the um, divider there, and we took him down with a punch, with a pistol whip, actually. <laughs> pistol whipped his ass. Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. I always wondered what Tally did there. She um, threw a grenade. You don't see that in the original version of this game. I should have done the Turian. For warp. This is why I don't use grenades. It's because I'm not good at them. But there I fucking nailed him with one. Just set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. The ambassador's office. It's safe there. I want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. Yeah, damn it. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Veil. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. What did you find out? Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Saren won't get out of this one. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Corps, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. What is this, Pokemon? <laughs> the Vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. 
I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Gath revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Okay, will do. Okay, now we set up Tally. Tally, you do her um, tech abilities. You concentrate more on her tech abilities than anything. Now we go turn in the um, Diplomat's quest, and we get this last collector, or, or not collector, but um, <coughs> keeper. That's what I meant, keeper. So we leveled up again. We're going to get um, electronics up, so then we can get everything when we're out in the traverse. Do I do basic armor? No. Maybe? Yes, I do. Okay. Strange greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Not true. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Apologetic. Do not listen to my bolus compatriot. It was a good thing you did, regardless of your intentions. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman in the Raleigh Bhatia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Bhatia. Nirali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. 
Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral. And the respect she deserves. Okay, so now we set this right. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander! You of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Soldiers shouldn't have to worry about what their own government is going to do to their bodies. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Yeah, see, that is wrong. I the military wants to hold people's bodies just so they could run tests on them and shit like that, you know? Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness. But it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Samesh? I don't know if this helps, but your wife... Nirali loved you very much. She missed your cooking, and she played recordings of you every night before she went to sleep. I know, Miss Williams. But thank you. It's nice to hear it again. Okay, we come back to the consort. Turn in her quests. I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words. An affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through. Proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Uh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> Close your eyes and relax, Commander. Oh shit! Oh shit! Shepard's getting a crack! Getting a crack at her! Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, 
I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. All right, here we go. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. She must be working with the Geth, too. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this Conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Fifty thousand years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough! You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. Yeah, that is true. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Right? Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Shit. <laughs> there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. So pretty much they are Jedis. 
You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. What's my first mission? We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right? All right. I think that's the end of this video. It is. So hope you all had fun. And I'll see you all in the next episode.